Friday Workshop. What are we doing this week? This week we're going over acetone and mineral spirits. Yes, these are two essential solvents and we use them a lot in the workshop, both with fiberglass and wood. And when do we use each one? What are the uses for each one? Why would you use one over the other? Well, let's find out. Yep, so here we go. Okay, so number one, let's talk about what they are, right? Um, acetone is good for cutting. It's good for cutting through grease, oils, and resins. It really is good for surface prep. It dries super fast. That can be a problem because those vapors are super flammable and it can actually catch fire even in room temperature situations. So be careful with it. It's highly flammable. It's dangerous to breathe in, you know, all of the safety precautions for sure. But really it's for surface prep and kind of cutting through those deeper materials, degreasing tools, all of these other sorts of things. Next up we have is mineral spirits. It's really good for thinning, cleaning, and prepping. It's an oil-based stain. It's less flammable, and honestly, we like it more just because we use it all, all the time for when we're thinning or we're prepping a project. All right, so the second factor, what are the uses in woodworking, right? Let's start with acetone. Acetone is good for prepping surfaces for gluing, right? So it gets rid of all of the oils off the wood. It gets rid of all the solvents off the wood. It preps that surface for glue by getting all of that oil and junk off the surface. That's really where acetone shines. We got mineral spirits here. Super great for giant projects. When you just finished up sanding, you'll wipe off all, all the dust off of it. Then you can also tell what your project looks like. You can tell what it's gonna look like. You can tell how good it's gonna look. It's gonna look awesome after you wipe it off. And it also uh, helps with uh, telling exactly what, you, what you're gonna have at the end of it. Absolutely. While this is good for cutting the grease and prepping it for gluing, this is great for getting the sand off the project after you sand and like making it clean. This thing dries so much slower that you can really wipe down the whole project and make sure you get it all, all the sand off of it. This one dries too fast that sometimes you can't tell what you wiped down and what you didn't. Okay, let's talk about cleaning fiberglass. Acetone is indispensable for cleaning fiberglass. It really cuts down the oils, that sand, all of the things off of the fiberglass and preps that surface immediately. Acetone is your go-to for fiberglass. However, if you're using mineral spirits, it's not really often used in fiberglass because it just makes it all oily and messes up the fiberglass altogether. Yeah, mineral spirits, while they do soak into the wood, they leave an oil residue on fiberglass. You typically don't use mineral spirits on fiberglass. Acetone, wow, it dries quickly. So quickly that it dries almost instantly, really. Um, acetone is great for tiny projects, things you wanna just get clean, get on to the next step. Mineral spirits is also great in the fact that it dries super slowly. That allows for you to work on other projects and get some parts of the project ready so that when, when you have it all ready, this is already dried by that point. Yeah, also in woodworking, thinning oil stains and thinning oil products, we use mineral spirits to thin those products. We wouldn't use acetone to thin those products. So for what we do, acetone is great for prepping a surface for glue. Um, and really, it's your go-to for fiberglass work. Those are the benefits of acetone. For woodworking work, we usually use mineral spirits because it's really great at wiping off the sand off of projects, thinning out uh, oils, and it's just really great overall. We really like uh, mineral spirits all together. Both are really dangerous. Mineral spirits is really good at cleaning brushes also. <laughs> so uh, each has their own use. They're both dangerous. Um, use them accordingly. Always read the back of the directions. Always use all the safety equipment. Use gloves, respiration, eye protection, ear protection, everything. Ear protection? Yeah. Ear protection. <laughs> Gotta protect your ears. So get it in there. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, check out this one. L like and subscribe, please. Yeah.